Earnings management refers to the practice of deliberately manipulating a company's financial statements to either overstate or understate its financial performance. In a prior video, we discussed the different types of earnings management and the impact on stakeholders. In this video, we'll learn about the consequences of earnings management, restatements, and the ethical implications. Earnings management is a process of smoothing out the earnings over time to give the impression that the company produces consistent earnings each year. Earnings management is often the result of meeting Wall Street's expectations. However, earnings management reduces the usefulness of reported results and has consequences for the company, how management, and the, the shareholders whose interests they're supposed to protect. There are two types of corrections by reissuance, also called big R, or restatement, also called little r, of the financial statements affected. We'll talk about that later in more detail. The SEC reported a total of 484 restatements in 2019, the lowest in 19 years analyzed. However, the percentage of revision restatements is high, 79% of the total. Keep in mind that revision restatements do not appear to the public to be as severe as reissuance restatements where the public is told not to rely on the original financial statements. Earnings management is oftentimes the motivation for fraudulent financial reporting and has implications for the internal controls, and it often leads to SEC investigations for violations of regulatory requirements. In addition, earnings management has implications for ethical leadership that is often causing gaps in corporate governance and an environment that condones, if not directs, earnings management. When financial statements are revised, the reason generally is because of errors in previously issued financial statements, including accounting errors, non-compliance with GAAP, and fraud or misrepresentation. A revision of financial statements that were previously publicly reported may be one of two types. Reissuance restatements are the more serious because the company communicates that past or previous financial statements cannot be relied upon. Revision restatements, on the other hand, do not undermine reliance on past financials. First, though, a materiality test is done to determine if the amount requires a restatement. Only if the amount is material, meaning the amount would lead the users of the financial statements to come to an inaccurate conclusion about the reliability and usefulness of the originally issued financial statements, is a restatement needed. So what are stealth restatements? A stealth restatement is only disclosed in periodic reports and not in the 8K or amended periodic reports such as a 10K or 10Q. The SEC requires companies to disclose within four business days that past financial statements should no longer be relied on upon. The 8K form is designed to be an early warning system so that the public knows immediately about the financial statement restatements and does not have to wait until the statements are filed with the SEC. However, a recent study found that many companies are turning away from announcing restatements in Form 8K and are instead reporting the restatements in their regular financial reports for the current period as a revision to the prior periods. The problem is that the public is not formally notified and they're not aware that a restatement has occurred. What about immaterial issues? Immaterial corrections for prior periods are recorded in the current period as an out-of-period adjustment. The top five most common out-of-period adjustments in 2019 were taxes, revenue recognition, expense recording, inventory value of PPE intangibles, or fixed assets. Here's the same information in a flowchart. So we'll start off with the scenario that an accounting error has been uncovered. We first evaluate whether it's a material error. If the error is material to the previously issued financial statements, then those errors need to be corrected via a reissuance. 
The correction would include reissuing previously issued financial statements. Investors are told not to rely on prior financial statements and the audit opinion is revised. The error is not material to previously issued financial statements, but correcting the error or leaving the error uncorrected would be material to the current period financial statements. A company would still correct the error, but may do so in the current period comparative financial statements by restating the prior period information and disclosing the error. That, that is the revision restatement or little r correction. Now, if the restatement is not material and the company can record the correction in the current year as an out of period adjustment, this type of restatement would require no revision or reissuance of prior financial statements. Hertz Global Holdings Inc. had one such accounting restatement. The restatement impacted multiple years from 2011 to 2013 and involved the capitalization and timing of depreciation, allowances for doubtful accounts, as well as non-collectible amounts on renter obligations. Hertz issued a statement that the previously issued financial statements must be restated and should no longer be relied upon. The company also said that it would continue to work on the remediation of control deficiencies.